Hey guys, Charlie from Airplane Academy here. If you're thinking about becoming a pilot, it can definitely feel like a big commitment. And it's because it is. Anything worth doing is probably going to have a challenge associated with it. And for how long getting your pilot's license can take, whether you're just wanting to be a, a private pilot or become a commercial pilot one day as your profession, there's a lot of work involved. And so it's helpful to know upfront what are gonna be some of those key obstacles or the hardest things that people usually encounter. And what are some of the things that might be easier uh, than you think and can help keep you motivated. So that's what we're covering today. So let's get the hard stuff out of the way. The first thing that I think can be the hardest for people and is hard for me is all of the book knowledge involved. Now I will say the silver lining of this is that I wouldn't say it's necessarily the content, it's really just the volume. When you go to ground school for your private or your instrument, there is a lot of new content that you've probably just never had to think about before. These aren't things that you learn when you're driving a car or going to school and studying English class, right? But again, all of it is very, very doable. You're gonna have to learn you know, how gyroscopes work and how to read a, a sectional chart and all that stuff, right? But it's all very, very accomplishable. There's so many of us that have done it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Probably the second hardest thing that I think people struggle with is talking to ATC, air traffic control and communicating with them. Now again, this one, honestly, it's just like learning a new language. Luckily, it's already in English. So if you speak English, you're in luck. It's not a different language entirely, right? But you have to really develop kind of a flow for what to expect uh, at new airports and, and how to talk to them, what, um, what's going to be happening and such. And I think for a lot of people, this can be a stumbling block. It can kind of be freaky to fly into a real busy airport or to class B airspace and that kind of thing. And yeah, that's understandable, especially as a student pilot, that stuff can be a challenge. But I promise, just like anything else, the more you do it, the more you get used to it, it's really not hard. And honestly, it's probably the thing I enjoy most uh, about flying around here, other than the fact that you're getting to fly. I mean, that's awesome. But I think talking to air traffic control is super fun. You gotta be on top of your A game. You're getting to move around a lot of fast jets and cool stuff. And you know, you to air traffic control are just the same as a Southwest jet, right? There's different implications for, you know, the Cessna versus the Boeing, but still you're on his radar just the same. And so you get to be up there and you're, uh, you're part of it. And I really enjoy that. So ATC is not hard. Um, it can just be hard at first. I've got a couple of videos uh, I'll link down below that can help you with air traffic control, things you can do to get better, uh, mistakes that we commonly make, uh, particularly as younger, uh, newer pilots and stuff, and all of those are avoidable. You can work on all of them and get really, really good at it. I promise, all your American Airlines pilots and Southwest pilots, man, they had to solo at 1.2, so everybody goes through it. Air traffic control really doesn't have to be that hard to talk to. Have we been filming? Yeah, for four minutes. I just thought we hadn't filmed any of that. That's good. The third hardest part about becoming a pilot is finishing. There are so many stories out there of people starting ratings and then either never finishing them or they might get to solo, but then they don't actually finish their private pilot's license. This happens all the time. There's some really good reasons people do it. It could be financial, it could be logistical, life gets busy, plans change, et cetera, all that stuff. It's life, right? But I would say that really just because it is a big commitment, there's a lot of training involved. Um, it's usually not gonna happen over just a couple weeks. It's usually a months long process. Um, just finishing can be tough. So if you can go ahead and commit uh, ahead of time to finishing and just saying, I'm not gonna let off the gas pedal, figure out how to get accountability in your life. If you need to make some crazy bet with your friend that you, know, you owe them something ridiculous, if you don't finish, do whatever you have to do to finish uh, because a lot of pilots don't. It can be one of the hardest things about, uh, about getting there. I'm losing the sun. Let's keep it rolling here. Lucky for you guys, that means this video won't be very long. So those are the hardest things I think about becoming a pilot, but they're all surmountable, right? You can accomplish all of those things. People do it all the time. So don't let that deter you from becoming a pilot. Don't be afraid of all the knowledge you gotta go gain. Don't be afraid of talking to air traffic control. Don't be afraid of finishing. Just make the commitment that you're gonna get there. And I promise you will. So there's a lot of easy things also about becoming a pilot. And I think these are really good to focus on because it's gonna help keep you motivated, give you that tailwind, so to speak, uh, towards finishing. So I think one of the first easiest things about becoming a pilot is honestly flying the airplane. Now, yes, there's a lot of new skills you're gonna have to learn and it's not just gonna come the first flight, right? Like learning to land for the first time is going to be difficult, 
But I would say that honestly, just like you develop the muscle memory to ride a bike or to drive a car, to kind of get that spatial awareness of what that looks like to drive 60 miles an hour down the highway, that same muscle and part of your brain, whatever gets activated, I think gets activated in flying. And it really does become second nature to you. You're not having to just mechanically move the rudder pedals. You just kind of feel whether the airplane's coordinated or not, and you adjust accordingly. It really does start to become second nature. I found that this is just such a fun part of learning to fly because instead of getting in the airplane, Honestly, I feel like I'm just strapping on a set of wings. It becomes second nature to you. So don't be worried about flying the airplane. It might be, you know, a little uh, unnatural at first, but I promise it's gonna become second nature to you. Another easiest part about becoming a pilot, I think is the amount of information out there available to you. And especially nowadays, I mean, if you have any question about training or regulations or really just anything, man, just go to Google. Go to YouTube, right? I mean, even over at airplaneacademy.com, we got dozens and dozens of articles written by flight instructors and flight engineers and different people answering a lot of these common questions. If you aren't sure how something works, I promise you're gonna be able to find it. And when I was getting my pilot's license, that really, that kind of library just really did not exist to the same extent it does today. So any question you have as you're learning, man, you can hit the pause button and just go Google that and you're gonna be able to figure out what it means. Again, everything is figure outable here in aviation. There's so many resources resources at your fingertips to never truly be lost. There's going to be so many resources out there to understand uh, 50 different ways to describe something that's going to help you be able to understand it. All right. And I think one of the easiest things about becoming a pilot is how easy it is to have fun during training. And this might not sound like a big deal, but I think compared to maybe other pursuits like going to medical school or something like, yeah, that might be a certain type of fun for people. But I mean, think about it. When you're going to train in the airplane, you're getting to go on an adventure. You're going across country places. I mean, you're, you're just getting to experience the world in a way that you probably never have before. And so even though it's taking a lot of studying, it's taking a lot of effort, it's taking some money, um, it's so much fun. And so you can build this fondness of your training to where it isn't a painful thing. It's not like, oh man, I just got to have a three hour flight that was a beating. Like, yeah, it's, it's mentally taxing, right? But it's so much fun. And that gives you such a boost of energy to finish your rating um, that I really haven't found in other pursuits that, that might not be as much fun or might not be as adventurous, right? That I just think there's these things that help make training so much easier because you're having such a good time and you're getting to experience so many things and you're developing stories that you get to tell people. Like what other pursuit creates that uh, while you're in the process of learning it? So I think for all those reasons, aviation is super approachable, right? It's a huge commitment. It can be a big financial commitment, but man, it's so worth it. There's hard things, but they're all very doable. And there's a lot of easy things giving a silver lining and making, you know, that knowledge gap just way more attainable, way more achievable. So I promise if you pursue it, you're going to love it. And there's a lot of resources at your fingertips to make it as easy as it can be, although it is going to take a lot of effort on your part. So if you are already pursuing aviation or you want to be one day, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. Um, you know, kind of a blend of ride along videos and interviewing pilots and just doing all kinds of different content to hopefully make uh, aviation a richer experience for you uh, and enjoy it all the more. If you subscribe, you won't miss anything we're coming out with, but I'm super pumped and thankful for all the people that are watching this right now. Um, obviously couldn't be doing this without you guys. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.